Fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Show me more. The Hermit at the bottom of the deck, it could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got the Ace of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups and the Temperance here. I feel like when somebody, when, whenever I say somebody, that means it could either be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with because roles can be reversed, okay? After somebody stopped paying attention to somebody here with the Nine of Cups, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sag. Uh, can be any sign Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But what I'm seeing here is somebody here uh, is realizing that they need to take some actions or that they need to offer love or starting to fall in love or feeling a sense of, you know, especially if this is a relatively new connection, somebody could be starting to, to have this romantic feelings towards the other person because this person has stopped paying attention to this person, stopped nurturing to this connection to this person. The temperance here indicates somebody wanting harmony in this connection or wanting to reconcile. And two of swords here in my first can be an indication of somebody seeing something clearly now or making a decision. I feel like it's only after somebody has backed out of this connection right, or pulled away. Because Ace of Swords here again indicates clarity, right? Somebody finally is getting gaining some clarity in regards to the value this person has or uh, the worth and value of this person or what they have been bringing to the table in this connection. But it feels like it's only after after somebody has stopped paying attention to this person or stopped nurturing this connection. We've got the Eight of Swords here, Six of Swords in reverse, and the Five of Wands. Somebody here could also be thinking about the fights or the arguments or drama. Some of you maybe is a third party may not always mean that. Third party also may not always mean there's another lover. It could also indicate you know, friends or family, external factors, internal factors that could be meddling into this situation or into this connection right now. But I'm definitely so sensing somebody can stop thinking, right? In regards of this altercation, five of ones again, or um, some sort of drama or fight arguments and six of swords here, finding it really hard to uh, move on from it, right? There's definitely a very stuck energy, but five of ones also can indicate somebody feeling really conflicted right now. Even after gaining clarity, right, with Ace of Swords. But still can't, um, can't forgive this person, can't forget. There are people, that's what I'm getting here. There are people who can't, who keep bringing things up from the past. You know, even though things have changed somehow or, you know, things have gotten better. But they still can't forget about something from the past and keep bringing it up. That, that's what I'm getting here. Whether they really bring it up or that they just, you know, they, they just bring it up in their head because uh, Eight of Swords can be an, an indication of that. But also, uh, on the other hand, I'm definitely seeing another scenario here. With the Ace of Swords, somebody may have cut someone off. Mm, but then later on, wondering if they have done the right thing. And could be feeling kind of conflicted here. Still finding it really hard to move on even after cutting this person off or cutting this connection off. Let's see more Leo Aries Sag. <clears throat> Somebody here with two of pentacles could also be weighing the pros and cons of this connection, wondering if it could go far, wondering if there's a future, if both of you could build a life together, build a legacy together. Hmm. So Queen of Cups here is involved first. Wondering if they should uh, emotionally invest in this connection. Feeling kind of unsure, right? 
if there is a future. Because of the tower moment here, maybe something may have happened in the past. Whether it, if it has something to do with you or not, or vice versa here. But, but five cups here for me indicates some sadness, disappointment, and regrets of something that may have happened in the past here. The tower may be an indication of a separation or something unexpectedly happened. So someone is definitely reflecting on that, right? With the Virgo energy, Hermit, reflecting, soul searching. And the Hermit is also a very lonely card. Somebody here could be feeling lonely after the separation. Mm, losing interest and also, you know, trying to seek other options. Just losing interest in general because needing some time to be alone, needing some time to reflect. Constantly thinking with Eight of Swords here. Definitely sense somebody here loves you. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. This person could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Can be any sign. The love is there for sure, but there's some um, conflict here with the Five of Wands. Again, it may have something to do with somebody else or can be anything, external factors, internal factors, right? But it definitely sends us this genuine energy where somebody would like to apologize, wanting to make peace, wanting to reconcile, wanting to speak as well with Ace of Swords here, speaking the truth. Perhaps Ace of Swords is a, a new beginning. I feel for some of you, it's somebody wanting a new beginning, but saying or thinking that some things needs to be eliminated or someone needs to be eliminated eliminated before this new beginning can happen but let's see more we've got the hangman in rub first page of wands and the queen of wands in rub first this is an energy okay i never quite read it like that but this combination makes me feel like with the queen of wands in rub first it feels a bit like somebody ditching their old self and thinking maybe they should explore elsewhere that's just for some of you but for some of you maybe there there is a an age gap here i'm seeing okay no matter how big it is i feel like it could be two three four five six seven up to ten years or more but there's definitely there is an age gap here okay so someone with the queen queen of wands i do read this person as a third party th the other woman the other man may not always mean that okay if this is a third party situation i feel like the third party may be now ignoring or start, starting to show some characteristics where um it's very unbecoming so this person so this person is starting to feel regrets or remorse five of cups here in regards to somebody they may have left behind because of the third party if this is a third party situation however if it's not i definitely sense this energy of somebody could be looking into you know finding new perspectives of this connection um Perhaps thinking about extending an olive branch here with a page of wands. Could be you or your person. Thinking about, you know, wanting to apologize, extending extending an olive branch here. But then we've got the two of pentacles again. There's somebody weighing this. Is there a future in this connection? Is there a future in this connection? Is it is this connection solid? Well, will will we end up being together for the rest of our lives? Because if not then there's a chance of wanting to end this connection or end it completely. Sometimes an ending may not always be a permanent ending, right? That's just for some of you. Got the Three of Swords in love first, Four of Swords in love first, and the Ace of Pentacles in love first. Yep, somebody's feeling really restless right now. Should I offer this um, commitment? Or should I... Try and get through some healing and recovery first. Someone is trying to figure something out. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Feeling with the Nine of Cups here. Something is incomplete. So com something is incomplete or something is missing. Feeling kind of dissatisfied. I feel like maybe because there's a history of the Tower moment, right? A history where the connection may have ended at one point or that 
something unexpected that was being revealed. Anyway, fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sag, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a, uh, a video, just one video, actually. Two, one is my latest um, vlog video, my travel vlog video. If you guys know, well, some of you are new, but I do have a second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. And I just posted my latest video today. I'm in London right now. So that's my first video from London. And as you guys know, my tarot channel is my um, my focus, my priority. So this is why I'm always kind of behind with my travel channel. But check it out if you want to. Uh, it's brand new. I just posted a few. I just posted it a few hours ago. Um, and also, I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the science for different topics and different questions, but they're still valid. As you guys know, that they I post your videos almost every single day, so check it out. If you want to click on that playlist, scroll all the way down, look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. And also, I'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me. My information is in the description box below. All right, take care. Bye.